little secret spot I got down here. You know, we just we put a camera up, a lot of scrapes. We got up some big timber to our north. We could only really hunt it on a north wind. Um, you know, it's not a stand we hunt a lot. We, we put these cameras out. It just so happens that a nice 10 pointer with some kickers, you know, another buck with some split G deuces coming out. And when we see them down here, we kind of sneak down here on a, on, the, on a right wind with a north wind.
Dude, that was probably the craziest 20 minutes of deer hunting I've ever seen in my life. I'm gonna be quiet. I still got a 160 inch buck right here. A 140 inch buck here. Look at this triple spot right here, boy. was so much action in 20 minutes. It was incredible. We had two bucks that, I don't know, I don't, I don't even want to say scored, but they're awesome deer. You know, came up the trail, walked underneath a tree at five yards, and they tried to stop him the first time through. He didn't stop. He went around, circled around. Another eight-pointer came in. A split, the triple split buck. I mean, it's nuts. I can't even keep track of it. He finally worked back around, though. He crossed this ditch. So you'll see the weirdest buck you've ever seen. He's like a tall spike. He goes straight up. He came back around and this buck went to go push him off. He crossed a ditch at 15 yards and I just smoked him. I'm freaking out. I like what I'm saying. All right. Get down, bro. Dude, are you kidding me, Joshua? Oh my God, <laughs> dude. Josh, are you kidding me? We just, we just killed our two hitless bucks in five minutes. <laughs> Okay, me. folks, I'm gonna kick my own nuts for a second. Not the best shot in the world. Or footage. <laughs> I grunted, he turned toward me, but I put it right in the heart. I was like, okay, I'm shooting a 75 pound bow, 400 grain arrows, 125 grain broadhead. I had, to, I had a window that big that I could put it through. I literally had to go back up to the front of the stand, squat down and shoot. And he tipped over in the freaking ditch. That's number two of the morning. This has to be one of the best times. There's 300 inches of bone easily right there in two bucks. Oh my God. Dude, <laughs> give me some knucks Dude. on that. This isn't even my bow. This <laughs> is Clay's like, bow. I like that bow. This is Clay's bow. Like, 
different anchor points. I just, we just switched. I just took his release, took his bow, and shot probably one of the biggest bucks of my life with somebody else's freaking bow. My legs, when I was filming clay, my legs were shaking. Then we switched stands and we literally had to walk a, a tightrope around the stand. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's the, oh, oh, here we go. an inch piece of square tubing. And we had two dudes, we had 600 pounds because I'm fat on this one stand. Yeah. Best, best morning of deering I've ever had in my life. I can't even hold my oh phone my God, still. Dude. We just shot two, two 160 inch right, deer. Right here, buddy. <laughs> That's how, that's how you make a brand right there. 260 inch deer in five minutes. <laughs> All on camera. <laughs> that's how you brand your name, buddy. Oh my God. Uh oh, the Maxima Red's got some red on it. There he is, dude, right there. Got him, big buck down. <laughs> yeah, baby. Is that mine or yours? That's mine. <laughs> yeah, baby. Look at this freak. Oh, look at that boy. Yeah. You know what, Josh? I, I think that's the end of our 2017 bow season. Man, what a day. This buck is a buck that me and Josh are familiar with, you know. We're hunting at my place here up in, up by Tonganoxie, Kansas. Um, and we've worked our butts off this year, putting out food plots, corn, feeders, you know, doing everything we can do to track these bucks down. Josh has been how many stealth cams you got out? A dozen? Yeah. Uh, we've been tracking these bucks like crazy. Um, you know, we're, we're down in a little hay field with a big chunk of timber just to the north of us. Tons of scrapes along this field, and we've got some stealth cams along this, this field edge watching these scrapes. You know, he comes in every morning, hits these scrapes, and, and he did exactly that. He, he, he came right to the edge of the field. He crossed the first time about five yards in front of us. He crossed the ditch. You yelled at him. I yelled at him like three times. Josh yelled at him. He wouldn't stop. I thought I blew it, honestly. Uh, I didn't think I'd ever get a chance at a deer like this again. You know, these big bucks don't mess up. And believe it or not, he circled right around and, and came back. I told Josh, I said, I'm not making that mistake again. If he comes back, I'm killing him. So Josh had to lean around the tree and film this big boy hanging over his stand. Man, I'm just speechless, honestly. I can't believe it. Beautiful deer. That's what the Kansas rut's all about. You're gonna see some crazy, crazy footage of that hunt. Well, we've gone about 70 yards and we have great blood, but and he's actually sitting right there, but we're gonna finish this blood trail out because, wow. And my arrow's right here. I don't think I've ever seen a redder arrow, and not just because it's a Karma Express red, but that blood was absolutely blowing out of him. I don't know how it came out forward unless he pulled it out, but I mean, you can see, looks like he laid down there. Kept coming this way. Almost. And he's right here. Yep. I mean, an absolute tank of a buck. <laughs> Look at the mass. I mean, his in between his brow tines and his twos, I can't even get my. Between his twos and threes, I can't even get my hand around him. I mean, absolute tank of an old mature buck. He was uh, chasing 
I, I'm just, I'm absolutely speechless. He's unreal. And the best part is, it's just an unreal hunt. I mean, absolutely to shoot it with my buddy's bow. And we've actually practiced that several times because I went early in the season. Then Clay was like, okay, look, I'm up. So I'm going and Clay started to hunt. And it was like, you know, I'm only really hunting the kicker buck, which is the one he just killed. And I'm only hunting that buck. And I'm like, buddy, I, there's the dwarf deer. There's the big eight, there's 150 inch eight. There's triple splits because you got split, split, split. I mean, it couldn't have worked out any better. It's my mom's birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Uh, there's always a big deer killed on her birthday. And actually today there's two big deer killed on her birthday. So just absolutely the best hunt you could ever ask for. I've never seen anything like it. And it'll be one that I absolutely never, never, ever forget. Oh, so cool. Okay, before everybody gets on my case about shooting a deer, quartering two, in between the shoulders, I don't hate that shot. If they're close enough, I would never do it at over 10 yards, but 75 pound bow, 400 grain arrows, 125 grain broadhead. That's my entrance, all right? My entrance is there. My exit is there. Could you shoot it any better? I mean, if you were gonna shoot it quartering away, you would put it right there anyway. You tuck it right behind the shoulder, it came out up here. I just kind of did the opposite. And he ran 40 yards. Now I would not, again, wouldn't take this shot over 10 yards, but he was broadside. He turned back to me, put it right between his chest, shot him right through the heart. I mean, he didn't go anywhere. You saw the blood, the blood chill that we had working. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that shot at close range. Never try it at long range. Again, rutting buck ran straight to us and I put it right in the heart. So I know I'm gonna get my nuts kicked, but there's my bad shot. <laughs>